4.1 translations. A transformation is a function that moves or changes a figure in some way to produce a new figure called an image. A transformation changes a pre-image to an image. A translation moves every point of a figure the same distance in the same direction, or in other words, a slide. You're not making it bigger or smaller, you're just moving it in the same distance, same direction. It moves each point from its pre-image location to its image location. Changes point P to point P prime. You use a small apostrophe to denote that you're looking at your prime or your image. Example one, the vertices of triangle ABC are 0, 3, 2, 4, and 1, 0. Make sure you label each point A, B, and C. 0, 3, a, 2, 4, B, and 1, 0, C. This is a triangle, so we can connect this up, A, B, C. Translate the triangle from X, Y, so that's your uh, pre-image, to X plus 5, Y minus 0. So if we take A, 0, 3, and we want to translate it, we're going to become A prime, and you're going to take each X value and add five. So in this case, it's gonna be zero plus five, and then three minus one, which is going to give us an A prime at five, two. We can check that over on our grid where we're taking each point and we're gonna move it right five because plus X values go to the right and Y minus one will go down one. So let's check A. If we go right five, one, two, three, four, five, and down one, we are at five, two. And we call that a prime. Same thing with our B value. So our B value is at 2, 4. So B prime is going to be at 2 plus 5. And then 4 minus 1. So where is B prime? 5, 6, 7. 4 minus 1 is 3. So B prime should be at 7, 3. And finally, our C value is at one zero to start. C prime is going to be at one plus five and zero minus one. So that's gonna be at six, negative one. Six, negative one. So now my blue triangle is my pre-image and then my green triangle is my image, and I've translated right five down one. Example two, write the rule for the translation of the triangle ABC to triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. So what we need to notice is that this right-hand triangle is ABC, and this left-hand triangle is A prime, B prime, C prime. So this triangle is your start triangle and this triangle is your finish triangle. So you can focus on one point at a time. So we're going up one and left one, two, three, four. So then if we're gonna write this rule we can say that we start with X comma Y, that's your starting point, and then you move to how you're changing your X value. So if I'm going to the left four, it's gonna be X take away four. If I had added four to X, I would have gone to the right. And then now we wanna take our Y values and we wanna go up one, so plus one. 
So this is our rule from triangle ABC to triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. When two or more transformations are combined to form a single transformation, the result is a composition of transformations. Composition combined, composition of transformations. So graph RS with endpoints R and S and its image after the composition. So we're going to do both of these steps and you're going to start with your image, then you'll go to this prime image and then finally you'll get to your double prime image. You can use two apostrophes. So let's start with R and S, so negative eight, five, Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five. So there's R. Negative six, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's RS. The first translation that we would like to do is X plus five. So that's right five. And y minus two is down two. So let's just do it using the graph. Right five, one, two, three, four, five, and down two. So this is gonna be r prime. You can also just use your slope of this line to get your s prime. So if I go from r, I can go up three and right two. So I can do the same thing from r prime right uh, up three and right two to get S prime. Now, finally, they want us to make another translation. This is going to be the translation on your prime image. You're not going to go back to your pre-image. You're going to use your R prime, S prime values. So now for our final one, we'd like to go X minus four, so that's left four, and again, down two. So I'm going to use R. So left four, one, two, three, four, and down two. So now this is R double prime. And we'd like to do the same thing to S. So up three over two, S double prime. So now R double prime, S double prime is your final image after the composition. Example number four, you are designing a favicon for a golf website. In an image editing program, you move the red rectangle two units left and three units down. Then you move the red rectangle one unit right and one unit up. Write each translation as a rule and then rewrite the composition as a single translation. So the, the red box that they mean is this one right here. It's not red on your notes, but this, uh, or I'm sorry, this rectangle is the red one. And we'd like to, we can do this even without the grid. We'd like to write a rule, write it as a rule. So that's the X comma Y. And then we'd like to write it as a single translation. So how could you go from the start to the end without the in-betweens? So let's start here. So we want to go from X comma Y We'd like to move the red rectangle two units left. So that's gonna be X minus two and three units down Y minus three. Then for our prime, so we're gonna do our X prime, Y prime. We'd like to move the red rectangle one unit right and one unit up. And now we'd like to know if we started with a regular X comma Y, could we get to this final image by writing it as a single translation? So if we try this over on the grid, just with this one point, let's just use one point at a time. So two units left and three units down. So let's call this A and then this would be A prime. And then we wanna use move it one right and one up. 
a double prime. So how could we get from A to A double prime? I could go left one and down two. So the single would be X comma Y, and we would go minus one and down two. You can see that in the math here that if you combo these two transformations, negative two plus one is negative one, and negative three plus one is negative two. So you can do it using the math and not using the grid if you combine the mathematical values of each translation. Example five, graph the line TU with endpoints one, two, and U at four, six. And now we'd like to make a composition of translations. So first we'd like to go left two. This is left two and down three. So left two and down three, so that's T prime. And we can use our slope. I should have connected this line. This is our line T U. And we can use our slope to help us. So if we go up four and right three, we can get to U. So up four and right three. So those kind of land, those are kind of on top of each other. And then we need to go left three and up five. So left three and up five, one, two, three, four, five. So this is T double prime. And then we're gonna go up four and over three to get U double prime. Thank you.